Try number two. It also was a fail. Originally, I overdrilled the holes, holes to five eighths of an inch. They're supposed to be a uh, half inch, but I found that when I redrilled through the epoxy, it didn't line up quite perfectly, and I ended up with thin walls. So I decided to overdrill again. So I went to seven eighths, and uh, when you're drilling through both fiberglass and wood in a half inch hole, it tends to throw the bit around and the bit grabs. And uh, I bent this one. This is seven eighths, and I bent it. And I tried to straighten it in a vise, but it's not good enough. So this one's garbage now. And I thought, well, I still need to over drill. So I went the full pull. I went one inch and uh, just about broke my wrist. And the, uh, when the bit grabbed between the epoxy and the wood, it uh, stopped the bit and took the drill. And uh, it was rather unpleasant. But I have one inch holes in the bowsprit now. I'm gonna have a look. Now I have one inch holes. I'm going to fill them with epoxy and uh, tomorrow I'll come back and I'll put my half inch holes back in them. And if that doesn't work, I don't know what will. So I hope that they uh, line up with the deck. If not, then I'm just going to redrill the deck. Well, here we are for attempt number three. Wish me luck. Well, it's time for the big unveil. I've drilled the one inch over sized holes out with a half inch bit and uh, had it lined up correctly this time. Double, triple checked. So let's see how it looks. Well, it looks good. This, uh, there's one hole here that's a little bit off. It's forward one, but it doesn't look too bad. I don't think it, um, it would in the Of course, with the teak spacer on there, I wasn't able to go all the way through, so now I have to go all the way through. But uh, these two are perfect. So here's what it looks like. The holes have been drilled. You can see this one here. That's a one inch hole and the half inch hole is way off the side. But uh, when I put a light underneath, it doesn't look like it hit wood. And if it did, it's only on the other side, the bottom side. These ones look fine. So, I guess the litmus test will be to turn the bowsprit over and uh, take a closer look and then put the teak block on and put some bolts in it, see if they line up. Just barely, but I hit wood. I really don't understand how that happens. You can see they're perfect. 
nice epoxy sleeves and that one Set down that edge there you can see wood but I am not going to do that again I think uh, I'm going to simply test fit a bolt in it and uh, probably put some penetrating epoxy in there let that soak into the wood and hopefully it will be sufficient to keep the water out and uh, when of course when I mount it I'll have to seal it with some polysulfide or something like that and uh, I'll put butyl around the bolt heads stop water coming in from the top polysulfide on the uh, bottom side should be good should be good we shall see So as always, fair winds, following seas, God bless.